the Air Force's stealthy new fighter jet steps into the limelight. With a recent injection of $20 billion in funding, we are witnessing the dawn of a new era in aerial warfare, where human expertise seamlessly intertwines with machine precision. The U.S. Air Force is investing approximately $20 billion over five years to advance the next generation air dominance, NGAD, fighter jet, which will succeed the F-22 Raptor. This next-gen aircraft program entails the development of both manned fighter planes and unmanned drones with fighter capabilities. In a strategic shift, the U.S. will procure a greater number of NGAD fighters compared to its F-22 purchases, as each manned aircraft will have the ability to control several drones during combat operations. NGAD marks a significant leap forward in the realm of air power, representing the first aircraft endeavor designed from the outset to integrate manned and unmanned platforms seamlessly. Raptor Replacement In 2020, the Air Force made an intriguing announcement. They had successfully crafted and test-flown a prototype of the NGAD fighter within a single year. This remarkable achievement was made possible by the utilization of cutting-edge digital engineering technologies. However, the specific details regarding the jet's design and other related information were kept tightly under wraps. The identity of the defense contractor involved in the project was also withheld. Since that initial revelation, the Air Force has gradually shared snippets of additional information. The very name, Next Generation Air Dominance, suggests a pivotal distinction from its fifth-generation predecessors, namely the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. The NGAD represents a remarkable stride towards the future, positioning itself as the world's inaugural sixth-generation fighter, unless another nation surpasses the United States in this pursuit. The potential capabilities of the NGAD are poised to redefine the parameters of aerial combat. These advancements may encompass features such as optical or daytime stealth, laser armaments, and the integration of artificial intelligence to alleviate pilot workload. According to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall's statement in May 2022, each manned NGAD aircraft will have a price tag in the multiple hundreds of millions of dollars range. In comparison, an F-35A Lightning II costs $82.5 million. As per Air and Space Forces magazine, the Air Force intends to procure approximately 200 to 250 manned NGAD aircraft, a similar quantity to their preference for B-21 Raider bombers. The Air Force has also suggested the possibility of two versions of the manned fighter, one tailored for the European theater, potentially equipped with a larger weapons payload, and another designed for the Pacific theater, boasting an extended range. Now, Air and Space Forces report that the service will spend $19.5 billion over five years on NGAD. The Air Force will pick two companies this year to develop their versions of the manned NGAD aircraft, with one ultimately picked to build the final design. Manned and Unmanned Unlike previous fighters, the manned NGAD fighter will be complemented by unmanned aircraft known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. CCA will be a stealthy, high-performance autonomous aircraft with the ability to carry a variety of payloads, from sensors to jammers and weapons. Unmanned CCA planes will operate as extensions of the manned NGAD fighter, adding firepower and sensor reach. CCA planes will fly ahead of the manned NGAD plane, using their sensors to sweep the skies and the ground below, allowing for early detection of threats. This delegating of sensor use could allow the manned plane to operate with its sensors off entirely, making it even harder to detect by enemy forces. The concept you're describing involves the integration of next-generation air dominance, NGAD, platforms with unmanned combat air vehicles, CAVs, to enhance the capabilities of manned aircraft in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. This approach allows for increased standoff distances, reduced risk to human pilots, and potentially greater mission success through the deployment of swarming tactics and specialized capabilities. NGAD, as a next-generation fighter platform, would serve as the central command and control node, directing the actions of the unmanned CAVs. In the air-to-air -air role, these CAVs could function as missile platforms, engaging enemy aircraft at long ranges while remaining concealed, thus enhancing the survivability of the NGAD aircraft. In the air-to-ground role, CAVs could perform electronic warfare missions, such as jamming enemy radar and communications, disrupting their defenses, and enabling the NGAD to conduct strikes with reduced risk. The cost-effectiveness of the CAVs, as compared to traditional manned aircraft, allows for the procurement of a larger number of units, thereby increasing operational flexibility and resilience. The Air Force's plan to potentially acquire up to 1,000 CCA drones, it demonstrates a shift towards a more distributed and networked approach to aerial warfare. The Air Force's decision to invest $8.8 .8 billion over five years in the development of CCA underscores the strategic importance placed on unmanned systems and their role in future air combat operations. 
By selecting multiple companies to build and fly prototypes, the Air Force aims to capitalize on innovation and competition, ultimately leading to the selection of one or two final aircraft designs for production. Overall, this approach represents a significant evolution in aerial warfare, leveraging advanced technology and unmanned systems to enhance the capabilities of manned aircraft, reduce risk to human pilots, and maintain air superiority in contested environments. The wargame simulation conducted by the Mitchell Institute provides valuable insights into the potential effectiveness of pairing sixth-generation aircraft with combat air vehicles, CAVs, and future conflicts, particularly in scenarios involving contested airspace like the one surrounding Taiwan. Key takeaways from the simulation include 1. Disruption of enemy air defenses asterisk asterisk CAVs proved effective in disrupting and overwhelming the People's Liberation Army PLA air defense targeting systems. By deploying CAVs to confuse and disrupt enemy radar and communication networks, the Allied forces were able to gain a significant advantage in the battle space. 2. Target identification and air superiority asterisk asterisk CAVs played a crucial role in identifying targets for follow-on attacks enabling Allied forces to gain the degree of air superiority necessary for successful penetrating strikes. By leveraging CAV's ability to gather real-time intelligence and reconnaissance data, the Allied side was able to effectively neutralize key enemy assets. 3. Forcing enemy assets to reveal themselves asterisk asterisk by utilizing CAVs to force Chinese airborne early warning and control aircraft, such as the KJ-500, to reveal themselves. The Allied forces were able to target and eliminate these critical assets. This strategy effectively blinded Chinese forces operating beyond the range of their land-based radars, reducing their overall effectiveness and providing a significant tactical advantage to the Allies. 4. Missile Sponge Tactics CAVs acted as sacrificial assets, absorbing enemy missile fire and exhausting Chinese fighters of their missile stores. This tactic left enemy aircraft vulnerable to subsequent attacks by manned aircraft, further enhancing the effectiveness of Allied air operations. In the end, the wargame simulation highlights the potential synergy between sixth-generation aircraft and CAVs in future air campaigns, emphasizing the importance of leveraging unmanned systems for disruptive and decisive effects on the battlefield. By integrating advanced technologies and innovative tactics, Allied forces can gain a significant edge in contested Join environments Intel Prime and achieve Channel their strategic objectives and get access to exclusive and effects, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, Behind the scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.